So bladder cancer is really one of the more interesting ones. So um, BMS has, has had the lead compound uh, in this arena, and their phase one was largely kidney cancer, lung cancer, and melanoma. And so those three diseases, um, and we'll talk about kidney cancer later, have been sort of the lead, uh, lead clinical uh, arenas. Bladder cancer has sort of been in the second wave, and uh, as you may know, bladder cancer is really a, a very dismal disease. So we're using the same drugs now to treat that disease as we did 20 years ago, uh, cisplatin-based combination chemotherapy, uh, which has you know, minimal response rates, and, and the median survival of that disease is still probably just over a year. Um, and it's been a very difficult arena to conduct clinical trials because patients are often older and sicker and, and smokers and have other comorbidities. So to have um, you know, a new drug that looks like it's showing some promise in bladder cancer is a really big deal. So there'll be data presented today actually at uh, the ASCO annual meeting, um, which was a, a small study that looked at uh, a PD-1 uh, inhibitor, actually a PD-L1 inhibitor um, from uh, Roche Genentech. Uh, it was a fairly small study and uh, looked at re uh, chemotherapy refractory patients um, and uh, showed a 50% response rate, at least by the initial abstract report. Uh, that's as high as chemotherapy. Um, the tolerability, again, at least preliminarily, seemed very good, again, in a very tough population of patients. So if that initial signal holds up, this is you know, a potential game changer for bladder cancer patients. In bladder cancer, so again, the standard of care is, is chemotherapy, gemcitabine plus cisplatin for most patients. So you could certainly imagine that chemotherapy plus uh, you know, PD pathway inhibition makes sense. Um, on the other hand, it's nice to think that um, you know, these immunotherapies by themselves could have activity and you can spare patients the morbidity of chemotherapy. Um, there really aren't a lot of other proven active agents in bladder cancer, so I'm sure there will be a chemotherapy plus PD antibody uh, trial. Um, but to me, almost even more appealing, especially for patients who are unfit for chemotherapy, which is a large percentage of patients, to think that a drug like this could provide disease control by itself, uh, even as upfront therapy is very appealing.